Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Noor Mehdi and today I'm going to present to you a short story I have written titled The Mysteries of the World. It is a story I have written with the idea and inspiration I have made because I was talking to myself sometimes and I got this, uh, the idea to write this. It is a simple feature play that revolves around six characters Freya, Keiko, Enzo, Vanla, Daha, and Nikolai. They're friends, then they talk about uh, World War One, World War Two, such as like geography, history, and just general knowledge from around the world as a trivia game. Hello everyone, my name is Tao Bikhlif and I hope that you are good. Uh, today I'm going to present to you my short story. Uh, her title is My Superpower. Uh, it talks about a little girl who, who dreamed to become a superheroine. Uh, so her family and her friends didn't uh, laugh at her, but her and her sister um, trusted at her and believed to her. Uh, one day she was uh, she was uh, using her phone, and she saw a publication about a magical drink who turned anyone to a superhero. So she decided to buy it, and she she started to collect money. And uh, when the drink is in her house, she drink it in one go but she didn't felt any change in her body. Uh, a few days later, she, um, she was uh, sitting in her room. She felt that her stomach ache hurts, so she decided to go to the, to the doctor and uh, know who, because of uh, her stomach pain, uh, but the doctor shook, uh, shocked her uh, because uh, she he said that she must go to operating room because she have a very dangerous uh, substance. But she she refused that because she believed herself that she is going to to achieve her dream. So after many years, uh, she she's a very famous superhero that saved the world. Uh, and she loved her sister because she was one of uh, her, she was like, uh, she encouraged her uh, so much. So uh, the lesson that we learned today is uh, we can be whatever we want as long as we believe to ourselves and work hard. Thank you. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about my story titled as Anna. This story talks about three detectives. Anna, Chris, and Kyle. Kyle being the one giving out infos, and Chris and Anna being the one get, uh, investigating the matter. In the first scene, Chris is kind of frustrated because they didn't find the serial killer, as they thought that uh, they just disappeared out of nowhere. So then Kyle enters in and gives them infos about the, the murder's uh, apartment and, where, uh, and their gender, which it being a girl called Juliet. So in the second scene, they go and to investigate the matter. As they open the door, they, got, they get a bad feeling. And then they saw something. Read the story to find out more. Hi everyone, so my name is Abra Riyuri and uh, today I will talk about my short story. Uh, so my story talk about a girl, her name is Emily, who went to an antique uh, old shop. Uh, so she bought uh, an old book, uh, but uh, she... Uh, uh, she uh, uh, she saw that uh, the, with this book she can teleport to different uh, uh, periods of time, uh, and uh, with this traveling she learned uh, a lot of things about friendship and also uh, 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 different cultures. Uh, so she decided to uh, um, share uh, this book with her friends so uh, they can all uh, travel together. Uh, but uh, when the years passed, uh, the, the pages uh, of the book start uh, to disappear, but the magic never goes. Hi guys, my name is Malak Znati. I'm 13 years old and I study in school in Salam. So today I will talk to you guys about a story that I wrote. So basically, my story talks about a girl that is named Lydia. When Lydia was a kid, her parents absolutely loved her and they cherished her. But then her mom got pregnant with a kid that they named Sophia. Sophia was the complete opposite of her sister. She was a blonde girl with wall eyes and she was a gifted kid. But Lydia, on the other hand, was a brunette and she didn't really do well in her studies. 
and because of that her parents always made fun of her in front of her sister to make her, to make her feel inferior than her sister and she didn't have any friends at school because everyone thought that she was weird and because of that she was ill and she was sick and when the therapist told her that her parents were so sad and they felt terrible because they thought that it was their fault that, that their daughter became like that and they apologized to her and made her feel comfortable around them so i hope that you guys will read the story and see you soon bye hello friends my name is Doha Fidali i'm 14 years old and i study in Islam school today i'm going to present to you my story that i have wrote the story talks about three close friends. One day, they, they decided to go to the forest. In their way, they found a terrible mansion. The brave friends decided to enter to it. Inside, they met a ghost. But instead of fear, they felt its sadness. The ghost actually wasn't bad. It had a bad past. The three boys talked to him, then they realized that he lost all his family. When he decided to have some friends, they felt scared of him and they ignored him. Uh, the, the boys made him uh, happy and they became friends uh, since that day. Uh, so that's all. I hope you're enjoying this uh, story. See you soon. Goodbye.